It's tree, it's called Tri Tree, it's the website will be right here. And no, we right have... here, give me a mustache. I'll try. And um we have like a reference code which will be down in the description if you wanna click on that, it'll directly take you. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's once a month you get a box of treats from somewhere around the world. Um, with a little explanation in it. Last month we got, our first month we got the UK, um, which for us wasn't crazy exciting because we've eaten a lot of stuff from there because of local places. But this month, I might have sneaked a peek, and this month it's from Brazil. So there's a whole little card that kind of is like a, it's, it's almost written like a little postcard, greetings, blah, blah, blah. And then here's a little description of each item. Sorry. <laughs> so, this month, this is our box. A lot of stuff in there. So, we're going to start with whatever this is Yokitos. This is where you read things because you know Spanish y things. Cancinas, if it's done like Spanish. I think it's popcorn y stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, let me see. The word pro presun presunto means ham. Oh. So ham flavor. Sub In Portuguese flavor. and conchinas are ham flavored corn chips in the form of a shell. Oh. Okay. They're made by Yokitos, a household brand for savory snacks in Brazil. So it's like chicharrones. They're actually ham in them. Well, we're gonna have to go with this flavoring because otherwise right. I can't. Let me see. I... You can't read. Oh, wait. That's this... nice. I think that the. Yeah. They actually stuck an English version of like they the. Print the label? Yeah, that's really nice so that you actually know what the heck you're eating. Why didn't they do an English version for the British food? Well, I've seen these before, maybe. Or something shaped like them. She's ignoring me. I want to have you. Okay. They taste like, you know, like the Pops cereal, but then with like a savory flavor at the it's end. It's like a pork rind, but not. They're really light. It's kind of good and kind of not at the same time. Yeah. Do a whole I don't like ham. I do a whole handful of like potato chips to get the true flavor, I feel. No, well, you, you go ahead and you do that. Okay. Up next, we have sweet popcorn, popoca, bovazina. I can't, I just, I... Yeah? Uh, oh, bo sweet granny popcorn. It'd, it'd be bovazina. Are one of the most famous sweet popcorns in Brazil. They are sweet and crunchy in taste, and they also happen to be gluten-free. Where do you get it? It's Bo, not Bo. It's, bees make a bee sound. Well, apparently it means sweet grandma popcorn. Okay. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. They look weird. It's literally like, like, corn. <laughs> like if you... <laughs> yeah. It smells good. Ooh. Ooh. I'm down with that. Okay. Now this is like... No, when I was saying, this is like smack, what is it called, smacks or? Yeah, smacks. Yeah, smacks, like the little, it's the cereal with the, the frog on it from around here. It's there it is. It's like giant, ooh, these are good. That's like a. Grandma, you done good. Ooh, I see something about bananas. Banana cremosa? <laughs> Parabuna. I can't do this stuff. I can't. It's that. Here, you hold it. I'm going to read about it. Candy bar made from a banana. Brazil produces 10% of the world's bananas. 
It is made from all natural ingredients, contains no preservatives, and is safe for vegans to eat. I like that they list like that it's vegetarian or vegan or gluten free and that's cool. Oh, what in the what? You should show it. It's like a squishy figgy. But it's banana. It smells like banana bread. It's like it tastes kind of like banana bread. Show them the inside. But like it's like black. It's really dark brownish purple, but it must have raisins in it. It's like banana mixed with raisin yeah. flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good though. Yeah, I like it. Banana and sugar. That's Apparently, it. banana when it gets a little bit like well, they turn brown. So, they... but I'm saying the flavor. It literally tastes very raisiny or fig-like or yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's good. maybe it's mixed with like plantain bananas. I wasn't saying eat the whole thing. I was handing it to you to put it back in the package. But, you know, you can eat more if you want. Okay. You get bit the same side you did. Gross. Ew. Okay. Next is. Pasta Tempo Ricciato Chocolate? I don't know. It's got a monkey with a thumbs up on it. It looks like little cookies with chocolate inside. And... So it's monkey approved. Uh, cookies with a milk chocolate filling. Each cookie is engraved with a photo of an animal mascot. Is it the flavor of each animal? Uh, Pasta Tempos are an extremely popular line of cookies in Brazil, especially amongst children. So we should like them. So are these like Brazilian Oreos? Here's yours. What type of animal is that? That's like a child. It says... I don't know. Mine's got a monkey being like, call me. And another monkey thing being like... Yo. I don't know. Think Ooh. it. Smell good. A little too much cookie, not enough chocolate, but it's good. <laughs> it's light. It's way lighter than I expected. That might be why there's less chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come down with this. <laughs> it's good. The monkey's a little creepy, but it's good. Okay. These are called Sanjo de Valsa? I feel like I didn't quite put that one as much. But I'm guessing the H is silent. Sanjo San San de Valsa? De Valsa. It means Dream Waltz is a popular Brazilian bonbon. Candies covered in chocolate. And it is made from chocolate with a cashew nut filling. Its main competitor is the Serenata de Amor bonbon. See, I can say that one because that sounds French. It'd be Baila in Spanish, I believe. Mm, how do I get it off there? It's like, oh. It's very shaky when I have to open things. Sorry. Oh my god, let's go. Okay. Ooh, it's like wafery inside, it looks like, and it's just covered in top. Oh, so If you want to switch, we can. No, Sorry. Okay. Still trying to open it here. Okay. Dink it. You're, no. I don't know. You bit it now. No, no, no. <laughs> mm. Okay. You know those bullseye candies that people make for like Christmas time? Like the peanut butter ball covered in chocolate? They're called bullseyes? Yeah. It's like that, but made out of cashew. But it's still slightly peanut buttery almost. But then it's got like that really thin wafer wrapped around the inner part, and then it's got chocolate around that. It's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little too much sugar though, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never mind. You thought somebody had too much sugar? That's like the wrong kind. You're weird. Mm. Okay. 
I mean, eat the whole thing and get it a little bit. But it's still really good. So, pretty good box. I definitely like this box better than the last box. Yeah. Um, I like that so far there hasn't been anything, like, super weird either. Like, I kind of, I want to try weird things, but I'm glad that it's still enjoyable. Treats, not, like... It's like if they get to Japan, they'll send you, like, a whole squid. Or, like... The whole box is just full of a squid. <laughs> just an octopus. Um, but yeah, so... So if you get to America, it would just be a hot dog? And cheese curds. Oh my gosh, we should do a Wisconsin box for people. That would be just fried food. And, <laughs> and a beer. But no, overall, pretty good. I like this one. We're actually going to enter for the, like, prize box this time, I think. But, uh, so yeah... Try them out if you want to. It's, I think ours, it's, you get what is it, like four to five items a month, and it's about $13. And there's a second selection where you get like six items or something for, I don't remember exactly how much. Um, but, yeah. Thoughts? Good? I'm hungry. Up? Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> but, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This is probably our vlog for today this he works mm -hmm. and I'm gonna spend some time outside I think and editing our other vlogs and you wanna say anything before you have to leave and slave away I don't wanna be stuck inside in a store it's nice out maybe it'll be in the garden setting I doubt it maybe I'll hope for you well cause it's mother's day tomorrow Everyone's buying plants, so maybe. For you guys today. Yeah, that's true. But Happy yeah. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Not to you, though. You have to wait until tomorrow. Fine. Unless, unless you're, like, from the UK, then your Mother's Day was, like, six months ago. Right? Isn't Mother's Day, like, six months off, but Father's Day is the same? I don't know. All these things. Anyway. I just eat food from there. <laughs> Anyway, have a great day, you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's dark. That's fine. Okay. Can you tell them what... What did you have to... Okay, so... This hold on, hold on. This one, Wait. This one, this one, this one. Okay. This so, one. I just went and got her from my parents in the car. They took her for the day so that Joey and I could get some stuff done. Kitty Kitty yes, hold on. So I walked to the car and was the first thing you said? He goes, You need a present. I'm like, I do? I got a present. So she gives me this. And Jiman Jipa say, Don't tell her what's in there. And what did you say was in it? Bars. She goes, Candy bars. Yeah. And so there were candy bars in it, which are like really nice, yummy ones. And so Jima goes, <laughs> Can you tell her, what did you have to tell me? What are these for? Yes. <laughs> are they for Mommy's Day? Yeah. She goes, Happy Mommy! Well, I like it. I eat it. Yes, we'll eat it. And then, <laughs> immediately after she said that, she goes, I want candy bars. <laughs> candy bars. Candy, yeah. candy bars. Yeah. You're cute. Did you know that? Good night. Good night. Oh, you want to just eat it, huh? She's opening it. I better go. Can you say, I love you? Open it. Can you say, Happy Mother's Day? Happy Mother's Day. Good job.